Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to maximum power transfer theorem uh, with uh, circuits involving dependent sources. So here we have another circuit and uh, we have to find out this load resistance value for maximum power transfer and the value of that maximum power transfer to this load resistance okay so the usual thevenin equivalent circuit approach we will use so first step is vth calculation thevenin uh, voltage so for that we'll redraw the circuit okay 6 ohm 6 volt to VAP which is the voltage across this two terminals which will open circuit right now so it's 4 ohm and this A B this is VTH and this is also equal to VAB so in a way we can say that this 2 VAB is equal to to VTH okay so now let us say that this current flowing through this closed loop here it is equal to I so here no current will flow so the same current will flow here I okay now VAB is equal to VTH is the voltage drop across this 4 ohm resistor so which is equal to 4 I so this is an important relationship okay so now when we put KVL in this closed loop we will get 6 minus 6 I okay plus 2 VAB or 2 VTH let us write 2 VTH minus 4I is equal to 0 now here instead of VTH we can write 4I which will be equal to 2 into 4I or we can write it as directly 8I okay so that implies 6 minus this is 2 minus 6i 6, 6 minus 6i uh, sorry this is 8 and this is 10 okay, 6 minus 2i okay 6 minus 2i is equal to 0 that implies i is equal to 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 ampere so i is equal to 3 ampere so we have got i is equal to 3 ampere okay so 6 this is 8 this is minus 6 minus 2 this is minus 2 I. okay 6 minus 2 i is equal to 0 i is equal to 3 ampere vab is equal to vth is equal to 4 into i which is equal to 4 into 3 ampere which is equal to 12 volt VTH is equal to 12 volt VTH is equal to 12 volt now we have to find RTH so we have got VTH now we have to find RTH so we have calculated the Thevenin voltage now we have to determine the Thevenin resistance so we'll redraw the circuit deactivating all the independent sources so we have to short circuit the 6 volt independent voltage source here so the circuit will be like this
and here we have to connect an external excitation voltage let's say 1 volt okay between terminals A and B this is 4 ohm this is 2 VA B now here VAB is equal to 1 volt so 2 VAB will be equal to 2 volt we have to find this current I RTH will be equal to 1 volt by I ampere now this node voltage here will be equal to 1 volt this so I is basically equal to I1 and I2 I1 is equal to 1 by 4 ampere I2 is equal to 1 minus 2 volt divided by 6 which is equal to minus 1 by 6 ampere okay I is equal to I1 plus I2 okay I1 plus I2 so that is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6 okay LCM is 12 says 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1 by 12 ampere I is equal to 1 by 12 ampere RTH is equal to 1 volt by 1 by 12 ampere which is equal to 12 ohm ok RTH is equal to 12 ohm so we have got both VTH and we have got RTH now as per the statement of maximum power transfer theorem for maximum power to be transferred to the load the load resistance value this should be equal to the Thevenin resistance which is equal to 12 ohm and this maximum power which is transferred is equal to VTH square by 4 RTH which is equal to 12 square by 4 into 12 ok so let us calculate so it will be equal to I think 3 watt you can directly do it 12 into 12 by 4 into 12 12 12 got cancelled this is 3 watt yes ok PRL max 3 watt ok this this ok 12 into 12 by 4 into 12 12 3 watt PRL max is equal to 3 watt so we got both VTH we got RTH and this is the maximum power transfer theorem so this is the third question.